What's going on guys? Guava King back again. Hope you are all doing very, very well. And this week we've got another Lego haul. Who'd have thought it? Buying Lego, me. Mm, yeah, maybe maybe buying a bit too much, but when these places have good prices, I, I just have to go ahead and, and pick them up. Yeah, guys, it's not going to be a massive haul today, but there are loads of little bits that I just wanted to show you, um, some of which have already been built, but it's it's all part of the haul, I guess. We are still knocking around 420 subscribers. Um, so uh, please guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe, share the video with your mates. I'd really, really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the haul. All right, guys, so the first thing we managed to pick up this week, this is an Amazon purchase, and this is the Harry Potter Magical Secrets book. And uh, yeah, I didn't even know this existed, to be fair, but as you probably know, my girlfriend, Emma, is a massive Harry Potter fan, and I love the minifigure that comes with this. It's actually uh, Sirius Black in his kind of prisoner uh, outfit from when he was in Azkaban. So yeah, I had to pick this up. I think it's usually about eight pounds, but I got it for a fiver on Amazon. So uh, I went ahead and picked it up for a fiver. Uh, it's a nice little mini figure to go into the collection. And sticking with the Harry Potter theme, uh, this one's already been built. You can probably hear the spare parts in there. <laughs> Uh, that, that is a bit of a rough noise. Um, but this is the uh, Hogwarts Moment Herbology class. And this is the really cool one that comes with the Mandrakes. Um, I believe it's based off of Hufflepuff or is it Ravenclaw? Mm, I'm going to say Ravenclaw. I'm going to say Ravenclaw. I, I, I might have butchered it to be fair. Um, but yeah, we're. I'm not too sure if we're going to get all of them. I kind of like how they look displayed. Yeah, Emma already managed to build this up on Brickitex Patreon only live stream where um, kind of like the Patreon members build it all together and they all each had their book, which was really, really cool. I was actually working at the time, so I couldn't partake. Um, but yeah, this is probably my favorite one out of them. I do also like the, the potions class one as well. So if we do go ahead and get any more, it'll probably be the potions one next. Um, but yeah, for I think we picked it up for, I think Emma had a, an Argos voucher for 20 pounds, so she actually got it for about eight quid, I think. So probably worth it. Uh, don't know if we'll be getting any more, but yeah, it's a cool little set nonetheless. All right, guys, now we're getting into the good stuff. So um, if you know me, you know I love my Star Wars. And uh, this is the new X-Wing, which I hadn't really thought too much about picking up. I wasn't too keen on the style of the X-Wings. Much prefer the older versions. A slight bit bigger and more detailed than these versions. But I actually saw this listed on Amazon for £35. And I think it was through Amazon EU. I think it was sent through Germany, I think, of all places. So... Um, and yeah, with my Prime and everything, it worked out at £35, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up. Uh, you got the awesome General Dodana figure, which is the main reason anyone's going to be picking this set up, because he is exclusive. But yeah, I don't know when I'm going to be building it, probably on a uh, London call-in live stream or something like that, because it probably won't take me too long to build. I need to get the TIE Fighter now, so it will pair up quite nicely. And then we have something a little bit smaller here. So this is a Lego Classic base plate in the green color. I don't know if I got the right color to be fair. It is very bright. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. I'm not really a base plate expert, um, but I thought this would go really well so I could put my medieval blacksmith uh, onto it. And I was thinking I was gonna mock a, a river around it and do some extra bits to it. So that's the reason I picked this up. I got it for five pound in Tesco, I think. So not too bad. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm trying to get in the world of mocking and experimenting. So I thought that would be quite interesting to get into and show you guys on the channel as well. All right, so before we get into our last package, I did actually have uh, a package from some guy. I've never heard of him before. I think, it, yeah, I think it's from some guy. He said his name was Toolface. Toolface? Jewelface? I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Um, but yeah, he actually went ahead and uh, he sent me this uh, Han Solo celebration minifigure, which I don't actually have, which I, I thought I did, but uh, I sent him over the money for the postage and he sent it over. So thanks so much, dude. Uh, Jewelface, you know I'm kidding, but yeah, <laughs> thanks so much for the minifigure. And he actually included uh, a couple of extra, uh, I think that's a Chima minifigure as well, and uh, a torso there. Not too sure what that's from, but still free lego is free lego i guess all right so we've got an amazon box here guys i'm not going to show you the other side it's got my address on it <laughs> um but yeah let's go ahead and get this guy opened up Ooh, that sounds fine 
I'm actually trying to remember what I ordered. I'm not too sure, actually. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is a bit of a random one. I don't actually... I've seen these in shops before, and I thought, they look really cool, and I just don't have any use for them. Um, but this is the... This is so random. Um, this is so random. This is the uh, the new LEGO City road plates, and um, they come up on my suggested for, I think, £14. They're usually about £18, so I thought I'd pick them up. I think they're quite cool anyway. The only problem is I don't actually have any sets that I could put next to this that I can think of. Um, the only one that I could think of would be the Privet Drive set, but I don't actually have that yet. It's still on the wanted list. But yeah, if you guys want to send me a modular building, uh, downtown diner, cafe corner, anything like that, guys, if you want to sort sort Guava King out, then uh, yeah, be sure to drop me a DM. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to have to find a set to go with this because yeah, I'm not really sure why I bought it to be fair, but uh is what it is. It's got glow in the dark, apparently. But yeah, definitely gonna have to get some kind of set to go along with this, guys. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, hopefully not something too expensive. Let's see what you can figure out. And last but not least, so as part of the same order as the LEGO City Road Plates, we picked up Hagrid's Hut. And uh, this set has been on my wanted list uh, ever since it came out, really. Uh, I've seen it on sale for about £30. I've not seen it on sale that cheap since. So um, it's been hovering around the £50 mark. I saw it for £40, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited to build this, guys. It's got Buckbeak, um, we've got the Executioner, we've got Hagrid, we've got the Minister of Magic, uh, Hermione, Ron and Harry, and some really awesome pumpkin pieces as well. So yeah, this is going to look really, really good on display, I hope. And um, yeah, super, super excited to build this one. Probably gonna get Emma to get involved on this one as well. We've got a few other Lego Harry Potter sets that we're keeping an eye on as well. So hopefully they'll go a bit cheaper as well. But yeah, super, super excited to have this one as well, guys. So there we go, guys. That has been my latest Lego haul. Yeah, got some really good stuff there. Really excited for the Hagrid's Hut and the X-Wing and getting this blacksmith built. But yeah, thanks again to Jewel Face for sending me over that Han Solo figure. Much appreciated, dude. And um, yeah, really excited for some of the stuff I've picked up today. So yeah, if you enjoyed the haul, guys, be sure to leave a like. I'd really, really appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.